the, the bottom line here is that in the short term, and I've explained this like a gazillion times, but people still keep asking me questions about it. In the short term, when new shares hit a float, okay? Custodians, BlackRock, Vanguard, right? State Street, the big players, they make 95% of their money on fixed income, right? It's in some way, shape or form, it's either bonds or structured products, whatever, mortgage backed securities. Um, because the equity market has been just all over the fucking place and it's ex extremely volatile and extremely risky, especially after COVID, when bond yields dropped off an absolute cliff, they needed an alternate way to make money. So this is one of the ways that they do it. And when those new shares hit the float, they buy them. And that's why you squeeze. It's not because of fucking retail, okay? That's what they'll tell you on CNBC. Back, back to it really quick. The custodians buy the shares, stock squeezes. They put those shares now that they now own in the securities lending market. Hedge funds go to the securities lending market. They pay custodians a fixed income fee to borrow those shares. They then take those shares that are borrowed and they short the stock down. Hedge funds make money on their short and custodians make money on their fixed income fee to supplement the money that they weren't making um, on regular fixed income. And you know, it's just another avenue of money. But the reverse split, the purpose of it is for even further dilution, right? So Ape has like, whatever, double the float of, of AMC, okay? Institutions move the market. We don't, we don't. Gary Gensler has said it with his own, out of words out of his own mouth. What is it, 96, 97% of orders don't even hit the lit market. And every single time I track the dark pool on every AMC move and every eight move, every fucking time they get crushed, dark pool activity on them skyrockets. It's, you know what I mean? Like, it's just how they're able to keep it down. It's a combination of dark pool manipulation that affects the stock on the NYSE. It affects it, but we can't touch that. And they have full control of it. Um, and like the option chain, like this is how they're, they're keeping it in. So when you see like 300,000, 200,000 puts at four and you see like 150,000 calls at 10 and people are like, Oh, max pain must be 10. No, dude, it's just the containment. It's a, it's the way that they contain it using the options chain. Um, like layman's terms, you got to think of options contracts as like weights 